hello everyone welcome to to my video in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, put the uh, put an inline switch on a uh, on a, a cord that has no switch this uh, particular uh, light goes in a, a pumpkin I got for Halloween but as it is right now I have to plug and unplug it to be able to turn the light on and off for the pumpkin. So to make it easier or easier so I don't have to keep unplugging it all the time, I'm going to install an, an inline uh, switch. This is the uh, this is the switch here. It comes in two pieces and then in the uh, cord will go into this little groove little groove right here. When you put it on the cord, and then the, these little pins here on this uh, this half are what pierces the uh, wire to uh, make the connection. And so that way you can have a switched uh, light. When it goes together, it'll be it'll. It'll be, be something like this. As you can see, there's the the hole. How uh, the hole goes through there and goes through. Um, to do this job, you need a, 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 a cutter. You tell a any kind of sharp knife. I'll use, I'm going to be using a utility knife and a, a Phillips head screwdriver, which is for this the screw right here. You can also use a straight blade with these. Now, in order to uh, put this in line, you, you actually got you actually got to cut half a wa the wa wire, say like right there. Then you got to notch it out so that way uh, that way the uh, wire fits into this this groove right here. Now one thing you got to pay attention to when you're putting this in line is some plugs like this one, as you can see, has a watt has a wide blade and a narrow blade, which means it's a polarized plug. And what you need to do is these these pins will puncture the insulation and make the connection. And, and this particular plug here uh, can only go in a plug one way. If if you're if the wire you're putting one on doesn't have the wide blade on it, then it, this, you don't have to worry about that as much. So what you want to do is when you when you wire it up, you want to make sure these pins are puncturing the wire on, on the narrow blade because that's the, that's the hot wire. This wide blade is the neutral. And an easy way to find that for me, I want to be able to put it at least halfway up the wire. So I can, so I don't have to bend down so much, and hopefully it'll be on top of the table, or just like right behind the, uh, right behind where the uh, pumpkin is. Which means I want to put it like up around in this area. So in order to, and it, and it can be tricky to uh, figure out which wire is, but there's actually an easy way to figure it out. All you got to do. Is look at the at the blade. Then you look look at the insulation. I don't know if you can see those markings on. Uh, I don't know if you can see those markings on the, on the cord. So you, you can see the, the basically the information it tells you what about the wire and everything. But the, this also serves another purpose. 
if you notice, that printing only goes up on, on one side and not the other. And if you look, you see the narrow blade, the print, print for this particular wire is on the narrow blade side. Sometimes it'll be on the uh, wide blade side. But this is an easy way to be able to know which is which, and all you gotta do is follow that writing up. Since I'm gonna put it up here, that, wire, that, that writing and printing on there goes all the way up the wire, as you can see. So all I gotta do is to uh, cut out just the small portion where the, where the writing is, and that's gonna put it on the side with the uh, narrow blade. And that's what you want because you want want the switch making the connection, making and breaking the connection on the hot side, not the neutral side. Okay. So now, in order to do now, what you want to do is when it's, what's going to happen is the wire. Once I once I do the fix fix it. As you can see, that wire, once I, once I do what I need to do here, that wire will pierce right into that wire, into there. Basically what's going to be is when I, when I put the switch together, I'm going to want that, that wire towards the inside. Basically what's, what happens is you, you, you nick the wire but you don't, you don't want to cut the wire completely in half. So what you got to do is you, you got to go just to where where the separation in that wire is. So you just cut it there. My, uh, my nippers aren't exactly sharp anymore. So sometimes I have just a little bit of trouble with this one. But I'm just too cheap to go get a new set. <laughs> but, what you, but the trick is you don't want to go over and cut into that other wire or because that could cause a short. Then, then what you got to do is, because what, what can happen is this piece here fits, but will go in between between where the screw goes through in this groove. So what I'm going to do is I got to go up a little more. I mean, you don't want to do too much, because you see it's going to be basically doing this just to know where I need to cut it. Cut the other the other end piece. Basically I want to come up here and do the same thing. And what that's going to do is that breaks the wire connection between here and here. Now what I'm going to do I'm going to take my utility knife because I, now i got to go between here and the other place I notched it. I'm doing it this way because I don't want to accidentally uh, slice into the other wire because you don't want to break the other half. So basically what I have now now I got that piece out of the way and as you can see now, now I got my notch what's going to what you want to do now is if you see how 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 this goes or bypasses and goes here what you need to do now is you push put the wire in you route the un uh, 
basically what you do now is you route the uncut wire around the outside of the screw here and the notch part fits between fits between where the screw go, between where the screw goes through. Sorry about that. And the, the the part you didn't cut goes around it like right there. So what's going to happen is when you put this on, when you put this together and sandwich it together, this can be a little bit tricky sometimes because you got to make sure you line everything up right. So what's going to happen now is when you when you put it on the right way. You uh, look in between there. You, you see what's happening. That, that little, little brass pin you you see right there. That that is now straddling that notch that, where you notched it out on the wire. And now when when I tighten it down, there's actually a little nut in the bottom on the bottom piece. And what's going to happen is when you put it together. That those pins, I usually like to look to make sure I'm not too far one way or the other where that pin is. And what's going to happen is, when you, there, I just pinched it together. Uh, if you see how I just pinched it together, those pins just pin pierced the wire. Now all I got to do is tighten this screw down. Like so, to hold it together. Don't turn it, tighten it too much because you don't want to break it. And there you go, it's in line now. I'm going to pause for a moment here. Now I'm going to now I'm going to plug it in and test it. You can see the lights off. On. That's how you wire. If you have a fixture, it doesn't have a switch on it. Off. On. Off. On. It's that. It's actually pretty easy. It shouldn't. It's not a job that takes very long. And. Uh, it makes it more convenient so you don't have to keep plugging and unplugging the, the light all the time. And that's how you uh, wire a, uh, an inlight and switch to a, a, a light like this. I hope you found this helpful and informative. Thank you for watching. And God bless. So long.